I hope you're all doing well. So I thought I'd come here and do an update video for you guys because I do these every so often because it's only fair to explain what's going on and tell you guys how I feel and tell you like what's really going behind scenes without coming here and just putting like a fake smile and being like you know what I'm absolutely fine I'm loving life this is this this is a whole hell and a, you know I don't want to do that I want to be real with you guys before I put out like a new video and like hauls and stuff I've got like quite a lot of videos coming your way but before I did that I wanted to really come here and speak to you guys on a level and tell you guys really what's going on okay so basically for nearly like a week well nearly two weeks now i would say like coming up to two weeks 10 days i think um my anxiety level has been like rock high um i don't know where it came from i don't know what happened but yeah basically long story short my anxiety is back and if you don't suffer with anxiety you would have no idea what i'm talking about and how anxiety can really really affect a person anxiety is such a horrible thing and i would never want to wish it on anyone yeah i just wanted to come here and just let you know that you know i haven't really been myself and the last time i posted a video was a week ago and i'm not really like that i usually post at least two three times a week but um, the last time I posted was a week ago and I just thought it's only fair to come here and let you guys really know what's going on. So yeah, um, like I said, my anxiety is back and if you don't suffer with anxiety, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about and how anxiety can really take over your life. I'm just blessed, alhamdulillah, that I work for myself and I can, because I can work from the comfort of my own house. But the negative thing is it can kind of backtrack you in a sense like, you know when you go through this you have to force yourself to go out and do the things that you don't really want to do because that's the only way you can fight it and um, I don't know I do suffer with anxiety I suffered with it like I think I did a video about this actually I'm not too sure if I have but I'm pretty sure I did a video about it and um, I think it was update to you but basically my anxiety came back like two years ago I think it's two years ago and I was so excited I started a new job um, a really really hard job to get into like those three interviews to get into it and it was such a big deal for me it was actually working with the council and it was such a massive deal um, I got the job and then when I started honestly I started having panic attacks at work and I had to leave the job because I just couldn't do it and like I just wasn't turning up to work because my anxiety and stuff like that so since then I left it and obviously I've been working for myself, myself ever since but now it's randomly come back from nowhere and it's honestly such a horrible thing and if you don't suffer with anxiety you you literally have no idea what i'm talking about um it's just this constant fear of something gonna happen to you like something's gonna happen um i don't know it's such a horrible thing and i'm trying to work on it i'm trying to fight it i suffered with it the last time i did fight it i pushed myself to do the things i wanted to do i went out and I did everything by myself and I fought it and I was perfectly fine after it but now all of a sudden it just came back from nowhere and I honestly don't know why it came back like I don't know if I was stressed about something or if I was worrying about something I don't know like I literally like that's the scary thing about this uh, anxiety you don't know what it like what can happen or what can cause it it can just happen literally from nothing so yeah yeah, so <laughs> um, I've been suffering with anxiety and it's been honestly so horrible so horrible i don't want to get emotional in this video because it's been really really hard for me like really really hard i don't want to get emotional in this video like i said okay yeah and plus it doesn't help that I'm on my period, so I am emotional wreck as it is. So yeah, breathe. Yeah, so it's a horrible thing feeling like that. Like you constantly feel like you're on fur 24 seven. Like when you're home, you're perfectly fine. You feel normal. You feel like, like a normal person, let's say. But when you go out, it's a complete, completely different feeling. You feel like something's gonna happen to you. You feel like your heart's beating. You feel like the whole world is just looking at you. And of course, they're not looking at you. They can't. Like everyone's just doing their own thing. They're just like living. I don't know, like, what to say. But basically, <sighs> I didn't want to come here and just be like. By the way, my jump is huge. 
if you're wondering. <laughs> I didn't want to run out, I didn't really want to come here and just be like, hey, here's a new video. I'm perfectly fine. I'm, I'm, nothing's wrong with me. I'm always honest with you guys. And I'm always going to tell you how I feel. And uh, this is real life. This is real life, you know. We do suffer with anxiety. We, we're normal people, us YouTubers. We have real problems. Our life is not amazing. Our life is not just about amazing court, amazing clothes, amazing shoes, amazing makeup. Like, you know, we do have problems as well. And like, I want to be at least one of those p people that are honest and upfront with you guys always. And I'm all, like, I've always have. Hence why my <laughs> update videos, like, re every so often just to let you guys know how I feel on the update because I'm gonna be real with you Um, yeah I'm trying to fight it I'm trying to fight this anxiety I'm trying to go out I'm trying to push myself through it I'm trying my complete best but it's so 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 hard so hard at the moment and Amina breathe it's just hard to speak about it without getting emotional because it's just such a hard thing. It's so hard to feel normal. Even though you're trying your hardest to feel normal. Like, I wake up, slap some makeup on my face, try to make myself feel confident, feel good. And then I go out and I try to live like a normal life. But in my heart and in my mind, I'm always like, in the back of my mind, there's always something going on. I'm always like, oh, what? something's gonna happen, something's gonna happen. But I'm trying to put, I'm trying to put like a fake smile on. It's just so hard to, to say without crying. I'm trying my hardest just to be okay and I'm trying my hardest just to act like everything's fine, but it's not, so I didn't really, okay. I don't know where this video is going because I don't wanna get like an emotional wreck, but yeah, long story short, I am suffering with anxiety and I'm trying my hardest to fight it. Um, so please keep me in your doors. Um, I know this is a test from God. God is just testing me. He wants to see how strong I am and um, I know it does say that God tests tests the basically the ones that he loves the most and I am a true believer of that. I know it's just a test and there will be something good out of it and I'm trying my heart just to stay positive like that and just think like nothing bad will happen to me because Allah is always there for me. I am a very religious person and I always believe that some there's always if something bad happens to you, there's there's going to be a good behind it and there's going to be a reason behind it. Like God's just testing me and I just have to fight it and I have to prove myself wrong first and foremost and everyone else. Like I can I can do this and I'm trying my hardest so I am going to do this and I will keep you guys updated about it like on my mental health and let you guys know like what's going on and how I'm coping with it and everything. And if anyone does suffer with anxiety then I honestly feel for you because I, I know how it feels and... We'll, uh, we'll fight it, we'll get there, and you just gotta be strong, you just have to pull through, but never give up, that's one thing I'll say, never ever give up, because once you give up, that's it, You're, it just goes down, down <laughs> downhill from there, and you don't want to give up, you just want to keep on fighting, no matter how hard it is, because I know how hard it is, like, it may seem like nothing to anyone, like, just walking down the street, and like, like, how hard is that, like, you just do your own thing, but it's, like, I used to think that, but it's not the case anymore. It's really, really hard. But we're gonna do this. We're gonna pull through. We're gonna come out of it on the other side a lot better, a lot more confident, a lot more happier, and it'll all be okay, inshallah, if God wills. Anyways, moving on to a more of a positive note. Um, so, randomly, um, me and Adol have been um, looking for a new car, and we actually bought a new car but it's not any car it's a car that me and Adol have been like wanting for literally the longest time ever it's actually been my dream car like I've always dreamt of having this car um I've wanted it for like years and years and years it's just so expensive and I never thought the day would come where I'd actually be able to buy the car of my dreams and I did and I'm just so so happy and so blessed to God and you never know, maybe this is like a little gift from God to say like, keep going, you'll be fine. And it's just like a little, I don't know. It just made me feel so blessed and so happy that I was able to buy the, the car, like the dream, my dream car, literally. Oh, I'm so blessed. 
I'm not going to really tell you what car it is. I'm not going to show you guys my car because I'm not one of those who just want to brag and show off and be like, oh, look at my car. I've got this car. It's the newest car, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not like that. Um, all I can say is it's a massive upgrade from my old car. <laughs> my old car, the 2010, and this car, the 2017 plate. So there's a massive upgrade. But, um, yeah, like, I hope that doesn't... I hope you guys don't mind because I'm not really one of those who like to, like, show off and show you guys my car and stuff like that. But it's just not me and I'm, I've never been like that. But um, you never know. Maybe, like, maybe I'll start posting pictures of my car. I don't know, but I'm not comfortable doing that right now because because I believe in evil eyes and evil eyes is definitely real. So I ain't going to be, like, you know, showing off and stuff like that. That's not me. Anyways, so, yeah, I thought I would give you guys a little update and let you guys know what Wagwan and let you guys know what's going on. Um, from this video onwards, I will be posting videos and hauls. Um, after this video, actually, there's a haul coming your way. Um, so keep your eyes peeled because I know so many of you guys enjoy my hauls and that makes me so happy anyways. Um, so, yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. Like I said, it's just, just an update video to let you guys know what's going on. I will keep you guys posted, of course, maybe in my vlogs and stuff. But, um, yeah, that's just a little little video just to let you guys know what's going on. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm, I've missed you guys so much. Um, but don't worry, I'm back. I mean, it's back. She's good. She's about to do her videos and stuff. So, I think that's it um, for now. And just before I go, I want you guys to know that I love you all so much. And I miss you all so much. And that's it. I just want you guys to know that, that I miss you and love you. Okay, that's it. Okay, bye. Cringy. Okay, bye. <laughs>